Okay, what we're doing here is we're going to show how to take care of an extreme case on your pet. Now this guy here has been rolling around in the dirt, um, he's been rolling around in manure, he don't smell too good, and we're going to show you how to use dogs in style when it's an extreme case. Can you bring that towel? I just want you to take a look at the towel. The towel is completely white that we're putting him on. Okay, put it on the table. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change our process a little bit. First, we're going to add the cleaning powder. The reason why I'm putting this on first is if I were to put the um, refresh on directly on a case that's this bad, what's going to happen is it's just going to make like mud and spread it around. So what we want to do is we want to get the powder to absorb some of this and float it away. I'm going to brush this through, getting rid of a lot of this dirt. real dirty. I, I recommend this if you can't get the soap and water and you just got to clean your dog right away. This is the perfect way of doing it. Concentrate on the feet, on the face, anywhere where it's you got a lot of dirt that's building up. Let's take a little bit more cleaning powder, sprinkle it on. And again, I'm just concentrating on these heavy areas especially. I want to brush it through completely because remember, you want it to grab the dirt, lift it, and then take it off the pet. Now around this face, I'll sprinkle it right in the brush. And as you can see, it's real dirty here. Work it in. Use any type of brush that you're comfortable with on your pet. God bless. I'm going to do one and a half of this dog because I'm going to save the other half to show you where we started and where we went to. Now, once I work this through, and I want to feel it, I want to make sure I have no powder really left behind, that's when I'm going to come back with the refresh. And the refresh is going to break down everything that was left behind. Also, it's going to get rid of that smell. So if your dog has any type of odor whatsoever, it's going to get rid of that. Now I'm going to brush this through. See, if I would have done that first when the dog was filthy, it would just wet everything and make it, um, I would just be moving it around. I wanted the powder to absorb some of it. The better I work it in, the better it works. Again, concentrate on the problem areas like the feet. So you get that staining out of there. Again, for the face, if I spray it directly on, cover the eyes, otherwise I can spray it on the brush. Now, I need to remove what I just broke down and left behind. So we're going to go again with step one. Add some more powder. Now what the powder is going to do, this cleaning powder is going to absorb what I just broke down. Brush it through. It goes through a lot easier as well because I got rid of all that dirt. face. And again,
again, a little bit more on his legs. Concentrate on these heavy areas. The more I brush it, the better it works. Remember, I want to get this powder out of the coat. I don't want to leave it there. Look, there's no powder coming off of my hand. There's no dirt. Dog feels clean. He looks clean. If you could smell him, he smells clean. Now, I want to turn him around to show you what the other side looked like. That's what this side looked like. So we went from, we went from this to this. In about five minutes. I don't know if you can shoot in and shoot the table. See all the dirt that's on the towel. This was a remember this was a pure white towel. Hold on, let me move the dog so you can see it. I mean you can see all the dirt on the towel. Everything was brushed off. And fell, and fell off onto the towel itself. Now, technically, easy cleanup. All I do is I roll this towel up, shake it out, put it in the washer, and I'm done. So, basically, real, real simple. Should we shoot the other side? Yeah. Okay, let's do this side now. Same thing. Dirty, grimy, stained. Let's get the heavy, knock the heavy stuff off with the powder first. This is a cleaning powder. It's an absorbent cleaner. Now, you'll see a lot of carpet companies are actually using this now in the supermarkets, using special cleaning powders to help clean their carpets. Well, this is basically the same method that I'm using here, just that this is designed for your pet. This is absorbing a lot of it and cleaning a lot of the dough, but it's not going to clean it completely until after I finish all three steps. And as you can see, he's not in, in great shape here, so this is also helping me brush out my knots and tangles because the powder is acting like a silicone and just making it a little bit easier on the brushing process. on the feet, put it on the face, and if you don't like sprinkling it on the face, again, just put it right in the brush. Work it through thoroughly. While we're at it, let's get the tail. Standing at all. Put your refresh on the heavy stained areas. You can put it on a little bit heavier. I don't like to saturate. If I saturate, it's really not a problem. It's just going to make the next step a little bit harder because remember, I want this to fall off, so I kind of got to brush it through until it's dry. But it ain't going to hurt anything. Go back with the cleaning powder. Now remember, this is going to absorb. What's left behind? This is like what water would be to soap. Just that because it's a waterless product, we need something to remove it. So that's what we use the powder for.
And again, this is an extreme case. If I do this every couple of days, and I got a dog that's, you know, not rolling in dirt all the time, I can keep my pet fairly, well, actually very clean, um, in between his groomings. And smelling good as well. Okay, so I went from a real dirty and disgusting dog to a dog that's clean, feels good, smells a lot better, and is ready to, to go back on the ground and go in your house. That's it. Well, let me tell you. Brush out on oh, being just that he looks nice and uniform. Doesn't even look like the same dog. <laughs>